Alright, so y'all come back to another exciting family meeting in Ghana. Today's our first time seeing him. My face is Charles AP. I'm a task consultant and I'm passionate about farming. They are on the channel to talk about farming in Ghana. So, for the previous video, we are still on the gas cutter series. For the previous video, we looked at um, how to take care of your, uh, uh, your gas cutters during the Hamatani season. As it was well, good for human beings, it was about a falling sick and also how much more gas cutter. So, we did that in the other video. If you didn't watch it, I'll link the video up there so you check it out. In today's video, we are here to look at how to keep your animals calm or how to tame them to be quite cool. Because you know, gas cutters are bush animals and they are a little bit aggressive. But here is the case when you bring them home or on Mr. Dominic's farm, they are very cool. You open the cages, they don't go anywhere, you can touch them and all. So most people wanted to find out. That's what yeah, you are here to talk yes, about. Yeah, okay, so before we get into the video, hit the red button to subscribe, put the notification on to get regular updates as I when I drop a new video. And please, drop a thumbs up onto the video. Without much ado, let's get into the video. So, Mr. Dominic, yeah. yes, we are here again. We are here to look at the second topic. Yeah. How to control your gas cutters, how to make them friendly yeah. to you and to other people. Yeah. So, yeah, if you can at least take us through that, that would be great. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, it's just a training. Okay. It's just a training. Even, even now, people are even training monkeys. Then monkeys are now sent at restaurants and those things. Yeah, yeah. You see, I watched some video that um, some people have trained their dogs to the extent that their dogs can go out and buy things for them and then and bring, bring it. it. Wow. So it's just a training. You can train them. Okay. So it's not anything that is, it's, it's not the magic, uh, but it's just a train. How to train that? You need to just train it. It's a training. So what I do in my farm here is, you know, number one, I see the animals to be my friend. We communicate. <laughs> yes, we communicate. When they are doing something, I talk to them as stop. The first time, maybe it will not stop. But as, as time, time goes on, we begin to know that stop means what I'm doing, I should stop. It doesn't so, possibly like babies, you see, when, yes, when they're growing yes, anything, so yes, as you yes, take them through, yes, then they yes. get So, uh, when I come to my farm, I play with the animals. Okay. Not when they grow. The first day they give birth to these animals, I hold all of them about the first day to even check whether they are females or they are males. Okay. Some people when they give birth to the animal, they don't even know they are females or males. They wait for them to grow up. They don't want to touch it. They don't want to. So you are, the animal is not used to that. Mm. When the first day they give birth to my grass cutters, when I come, the first thing I do is I check it. Like this one, this one they are giving birth to it uh, just uh, yesterday. Oh wow, so fresh babies. Yes, fresh babies. Yesterday. I have been back to these ones yesterday. When I came, the first thing I did was I raised them to check whether they are females or they are males. So from day one, they they know that catching me is not anything. This man, when he hold me, he will put me down. <laughs> yes. So from day one, I start touching them. So I start holding them. I start playing with them. I hold them like this in my hand. I play with them. So they are used to it that okay, this is how it's supposed to be. So as they are growing, they are growing with it. Yeah. yeah. You see? And their mother is like that. So the mother, they know that it's, it's not anything. It's not anything. So it's something that you have to start from the day one. So you begin when they give Very birth. Good. Fresh. The day they give birth, you start from there. And then you start playing with them. Every day if you come, touch the animals. Especially those who are having few grass cutters. You're having about, maybe somebody you're having about 20, 30 grass cutters. Hey, 20, 30 is few. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, your yeah. farm is big, so I understand. Somebody you're having about maybe 50, that thing is 50 grass cutters, you can touch all of them a day. You see, even me as big as the, the animals are, I, I, I make sure I, at least I touch all the animals every day. Almost all. If I come, even when I give you food, I touch you. Mm. You see? I can some of them you have to carry them, open their cage down, open it, carry them, as old as they are, you carry them like this small, yeah. you carry them, then you put them down, then, you know, know. This then they know that them. even if they catch me, they'll put me down from the day one, so they are grown with it, yeah. they are grown with it, sometimes you come, you open the cage down, you open it down, they don't, they don't come, come out, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they are used to it. And always we are here, so they know human beings. We don't do any harm to them. We don't cause them any harm. 
So they know human beings, oh, okay, this is the one who is keeping me. Human beings are not an enemy to us. You see? But there are some people, they don't play with the animals at all. They just come, put food in the cage, and they go. So the animal sees you maybe one minute a day. So one day when they see you, you that you guys come and give us food and you go. Now that you are in that you have been here for about two minutes, three minutes, no. They begin to think is there something going wrong? Yeah, so that is why you see that they are becoming they are smart. You see them like that, they are smart animals. Yeah, I come here sometimes. Every day I spend more than four or five hours in my farm. So they know human beings. Mm. They know us. And sometimes too is the cage. Some people they are caged. They have made with it with a complete wood. And the animals cannot see anybody. Okay, so like the way they are. Um, yes, you see, there are some wire meshes and this. Is. So even if I'm walking here, even if I didn't open this gate, they are they seeing see me. See. They can see human beings. Some people they have that they, they have made a, a hole and they cover it. The animals are inside. The animal doesn't see anybody. So for the first time they are coming to see human beings. Yeah, they are aggressive. From this one too, they've never seen human being before. So sometimes too is the cage. See, make your cage in a way that when even if you are passing, the animals have to be seeing you. Yes, and always be with them, play with them. As for that one, is very important. Touch them. They know that when they touch me, they will put me down. You they know it's normal. When they, you come, you catch it like this. You put it down. They know it's normal. They know it's normal. You see, touch them, play with them. They love it. Grass place to love it when you are playing with them. They love it. They always want that. If you can't touch them, play with them. They want it. <laughs> you see, when you're doing this thing to them, they love it. They want it. Always, they want you to touch them. You see? So as you're doing that thing to them, they're used to it. This kid doesn't have locker. You see? Mm. This one is not having any locker. It's just there. My but animal this animal is inside. inside. It doesn't bother to come out. You see? Yeah. Don't bother to come out. You see, so be play with them, have time for them. Always touch the animal from you see some people wait ah, until the animal is old before they want to play with it. No, it, it's it's not possible. Because you go to some farms and they are making noise, they yes, are Yes, they are running. The case, Even some people, noise. some farmers, if you, they want to cut the animals, you see they are being like this, <laughs> the animal want to come out, they have to ah, man, don't cut my animals for that. I want to catch you as big as you are. Open the cage down. I bring you out. This one is a pregnant animal. As big as you are, bring it out. He knows that this is normal. I, do I like it. the way it's cool. Like it's cool. cool. I do it to them always, every day. So they know. So sometimes, even if you come, they are waiting for it. Mm. They are waiting for you to touch them because they know every day. So even if a day I come, I didn't play with them. They, they say, ah, what, what happened today? <laughs> they didn't play with that. So uh, uh, train them when they are young. Play with them. Start touching them when they are young. They won't bite you. Before Grestar will bite you, then you have hold it in a way that he have to fight for his life. He knows that you know why the thing is getting to <laughs> life and death situation. Yes. So that is why it will bite you. But Grestar, you don't just bite like that. No, oh, okay. They don't just bite like that. No, no, no. Unless you hold it in a way that you have realized that no, I have to fight for my life. That is why they will bite you or they. Will, that's what the scratching there is normal. Yeah, so to make it fr to make them friendly, just be playing with them. Touch them from the one. From the one when they give back to them, start touching them. Take them, put them back, carry them, wow, put them back. Mm. You take mm. them, wow, you put them back. So as time goes on, they they they, they, they are used to it. They know even if they hold me, they'll put me down. But the food, is it like a special kind of food to give them? There for is them no to special kind of food that you give them. No, no. For uh, 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 for animals to calm down and then become calm down, not depend on the food. It doesn't need any injection. It's just a <laughs> training. Injection. Yeah, it's just a training from the one. You train them from the one when they are young. You start training. Don't wait for them to grow. Mm. That is why we have been seeing that when you are going to buy grass cutters as a beginner, don't go in for a pregnant one. Don't go in for uh, mature ones. Get the treatment ones. So you take them to your farm. You train them. They know you and they grow with it. Yeah. yeah. See, it's just like buying a dog. Why should, why should you go and buy a, a, big, a, a, a big dog? No, oh, it's, 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 it's harmful to your health. It's, it's danger. 
You see? So you guys buy the young ones. You train them, you play with them. Mm. Then as time goes on, as now I can bring any aggressive animal here. Yeah, yeah, you're saying it initially yes. that even if you bring aggressive ones, they come here, they are ah, cool. They come here, they are cool. Some people, the animals, people are bringing the animals that should cross for them. When we are going to cut the animals from their farm, the animal will be very, very aggressive. I told them, don't worry. When we bring them here within one week, when they come, I told them, this is your animal, they doubt. <laughs> yes, because they, they have a way of communication. Yeah. So when you bring, an, no matter how aggressive you are, it's just like a stubborn chat. When you get to some houses, and they are no matter how stubborn you are, you, 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 you repent. <laughs> because yourself, you see the way people are behaving in the house. No, 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 you no, alone, you are too old. We, we don't do that here. Yeah, we don't do that here. <laughs> so you bring an aggressive animal, you want to make it, you say, no, no, no. Oh, why? This man is a good man. They are just bringing us food. They have a way they communicate. It is you who doesn't hear them. Mm. But they communicate. So if any aggressive animals come here, if, I'm coming to give you food. What the I say, no, 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 this is eating time, don't worry. They, mm. they are just coming to give you food. This one will not do anything to you. They communicate in a way that uh, you will not hear. But so here, so. I, I, I bought some animals from Dabala, from one guy. I brought them here. Come and see. Clack, 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 clack. The first day, even one of them lose their tail. Oh, I think, let me show you. Yeah, yeah. The first day, one of them lose their tail because they were, they were so aggressive. Very, very aggressive, yeah. So this, even, oh, yeah. yeah, this one. This one lose the tail. You can see, it lose the tail. But today, see this, this same animals, they are here. <laughs> The one who, who lose the tail doesn't want anybody to touch. It, it loses its tail. But now look at them. I open this same cage down and they, they don't and they don't come out. Don't come out. These animals they were very aggressive that time. But now see, the same animals. I catch them. They are friendly. Mm. The first I brought them here, it was not easy. We're trying to catch them. We lose the tail. I said, don't worry. You come down. What time at least don't down? Now you see them. They are all here and they are coming. Then they are living comfortably. So that is it. So just make the animals play with them. That is a one. Start from the one, entertain them, play with them, touch them. Don't don't be so harsh on them. Don't you know? You know just take so them as keep them cool. Them cool. Always be around them. Let them see your presence. Always and then that is how it goes. Okay, okay. I think uh, for those who are asking that question, those who have started their uh, grass cutter farm, at least they would learn something. Yes, yes. And it's always be around them yeah. so they don't be aggressive. Right. Them. So you found the first time go for the young one. When you train them and now they know you, they are friendly. You cannot go for grown up ones. Yeah. Even if they come here, the younger ones will tell them, oh no, don't be aggressive, this one. Because now there's someone that knows you. So yeah. if you want to run away, you see that somebody is coming closer to you. Why should, we, why should I run away? Uh -huh. So, for the first time, go for the younger one, train them, let them be friendly in your farm. Then now you can bring any other one in. Yeah. And then the communication, they will communicate to each other and it will work from there. No, okay. yeah. no, okay. right. Thank you for uh, the information. Thank you. Too. We will end um, this part of the video here. Yes. Uh, Alice, before we uh, end, hit the red button to subscribe, put your notification on to get regular updates when I drop a new video. And please drop a thumbs up onto the video. So in the next or subsequent videos, we will bring you more information about gas cutter farming. We will delve more into specific issues that are supposed to know about this. Yes, catch us in our next video. Bye. Thank you.